everyone, I'm Teacher Al. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to study again the fraction word problem. This is also a continuation. Problem number eight. I will read first the problem. The three people of a basket of fruits are apples, while the rest are oranges. If there are 39 apples, how many fruits are there altogether? Solution. We have to write down the given, and we will make two columns, one for the fraction and one for the fruits. The given fraction 3 pip equals to 39 fruits, and 2 pip is the hidden problem, and 5 over 5 is the uh, what ask, for, ask for the problem, the uh, totality of the fruits in a certain basket. To solve the problem, we, have, we are going to, our plan is to divide. 39 divided by 3 feet, then 39, we are going to multiply by using the reciprocal method, and we are going to reciprocate the second fraction, the 3 over 5 now becomes 5 over 3 then multiply horizontally the whole number and the numerator 39 times 5 equals 195 then divided by 3 then the 5 over 5 now is 65 so our complete answer there are 65 puts together if we're going to check the our answer the 3 pip equals to 39 the 5 over 5 is 65. In reverse computation, we're going to minus 65 minus 13 equals 26. And we're going to add 39 plus 26 equals 65. So therefore, our answer is correct. Okay, the next problem is number 9. Mario and Marie have 1,200 pieces all together. Mario has one and a half times as much money as Marie. How much more money does a Mario have than Marie? Our solution given, then we have to write two columns, one for the fraction and one for the amount. Then for the fraction given is one and a half for Mario and fraction or whole number. And we're going to add the fraction with a total of two and a half and the total amount is 1,200. And we're going to find the one and a half Mario and the one whole share of Marie. To solve the problem, we are going to divide 1,200 divided by 2 and a half. Then 1,200 divided, we are going to change the mixed number into improper fraction. 2 times 2 equals 4 plus 1 equals 5, so that's why we have 5 over 2. And then we will apply the reciprocal method. 1,200 times the reciprocal of 5 over 2 is 2 over 5. Then multiply the whole number and the uh, numerator 1200 times 2 over 5 now and we're going to divide 2400 divided by 5 we have 480 share of Marie for the amount okay then the next we're going to solve uh, how much for Mario amount uh, so we're going to multiply 480 times one and a half so 480 times 3 over 2, then 480 times 3, 1,440, divided by 3 equals 720 for Maria. So therefore, our 1.5, the amount is 720, and for Maria is 480, with a total of 1,200. So that's not the final answer because we have to follow the uh, 
what is here, what is asking the problem. The problem asks for how much more money does Mario have than Marie. So the difference. So since Mario have 720 and Marie have uh, 480, we have to minus 720 minus 480. We have 240 pieces. So com our complete answer now, Mario has 240 pieces more. So we have to check our answer. So approximately one and a half the amount. This is for Mario 720. And the one whole share of Marie's for 80. Then we're going to total 1,200. So therefore correct now is our answer. Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Al. Welcome to my channel. Today our topic is uh, to add uh, unlike fraction. Anyway, this is a part two because there are times that uh, it's hard for us to to add a fraction which is uh, uh, the denominator is very high and unlike. So our methods that we're going to hear is to reduce first then cross multiply. So we have to reduce first the fraction given. 3 over 9, we can reduce this by dividing by 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Then 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. And after reducing, next, our next step is cross multiply. 2 times 1 equals 2. Then plus 3 times 1 equals 3. Then horizontal 3 times 2 equals 6. Horizontal multiplication. Then we're going to add 2 plus 3 equals 5. Then copy denominator. So this will be our, our final answer. 5 over 6. Okay, next, number 2. We have to observe that uh, 27 and 9, we can reduce this by dividing 9, the numerator and the uh, the numerator and the denominator. So we're going to divide this by 9. Okay? 9 divided by 9 equals 1. 27 divided by 9 equals 3. Then plus, so 15 over 3, we can divide it by 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Then next, cross multiply. 1 times 3 equals 3. Plus, 1 times 5 equals 5, then 1 times 1 equals 1, and 3 plus 5 equals 8, divided by 1 equals 8. So this will be our final answer. Okay, number 3, 8 over 64 plus 21 over 7, so 8 to 64, we can uh, reduce this first by dividing by 8. 8 divided by 8 equals 1. 64 divided by 8 equals 8 plus uh, 21 and 7, we can divide it by 7. 7 divided by 7 equals 1. 21 divided by 7 equals 3. Then cross multiply. 1 times 1 equals 1 plus 8 times 3 equals 24. 8 times 1 equals 8. So we're going to add 1 plus 24 equals 25 over 8 or our answer is 3 and 1 over 8.
Okay, number 4. 81 divided by 9 plus 36 over 12. So 81 and 9, we can uh, reduce this by dividing both numerator and denominator by 9. Okay. 9 divided by 9 equals 1. 81 divided by 9 equals 9 plus 36 divided by uh, 12. So we can reduce this by dividing by 12 also. Okay. 36 divided by 12 equals 3. And 12 divided by 12 equals 1. Then cross multiply 9 times 1 equals 9 plus 1 times 3 equals 3 then 1 times 1 equals 1 equals 9 plus 3 equals 12 divided by 1 our answer is 12 okay number 5 120 over 60 plus 24 over 80 so 120 and 60 we can divide it by 60 Okay, 60 divided by 60 equals 1, 120 divided by 60 equals 2, plus 24 and 8, we can divide it by 8, okay, 24 divided by 8 equals 3, 8 divided by 8 equals 1. Then we have a uh, cross multiply, 2 times 1 equals 2, plus 1 times 3 equals 3, over 1 times 1 equals 1, and 2 plus 3 equals 5, divided by 1 equals 5. So this will be our final answer. Hoping that you learned something from our uh, topic today about addition of unlike fraction by using uh, cross multiplication, um, reduce first the fraction implication, and horizontal multiplication also.